Flash, dirigibles and zeppelins take to the skies as the U.S. Air Force begins operations to combat the terrible scourge coming out of the Pacific Theater. Trace here for D-News, <coughs> D's News Reels, I mean uh, D-News. Seriously, zeppelins and blimps and stuff, they're just the best. Though you probably think of zeppelins and then immediately think of the Hindenburg. Near the big tail fins turned the ship into a flaming inferno. It wasn't just that tragedy that caused rigid airships to fall out of favor. It was just airplanes are frickin' faster. Would you rather spend two luxurious days traveling from London to New York City or seven hours crammed on an airplane with a sweaty man sleeping next to you? I thought so. Now, today, in 2013, almost a hundred years after they fell out of favor for the first time during World War I, the Zeppelin might just be back thanks to the U.S. Air Force and DARPA. So this 500-foot monster can fly like an airplane and float like a balloon. If it could sting like a bee, it would be the deadliest thing in the skies. But for now, it's just for observation and cargo. It can travel 130 miles per hour at 12,000 in feet, and although that's not quite as high or as fast as an airplane, the airship requires little or no infrastructure to get to hard-to-reach places. The company, Eros, uses an example of a natural disaster, like an earthquake, where the runways are gone and the rubble makes it impossible to land a helicopter, this big airship would fill the gap between those two technologies. Not to mention the size of this sucker means it can carry half as much as the largest military plane can now, the C-5, and three times what the C-130 can carry, so it's got itself a niche. Before you go all Sterling Archer on me, the rigid airship is filled with safe, inert helium. It doesn't burn and it won't explode. As it's been a while since the 1930s, airship technology has improved greatly. The blimp is basically a helium balloon with some propellers stuck onto the bottom. But a Zeppelin, or a dirigible, or a rigid airship, whatever you want to call it, has an internal frame that keeps it in shape, and a bunch of large gas bags inside that frame to hold the helium and send it aloft. Aside from being used for cargo and emergency response, airships can stay up in the air for a long time, and if need be, use very little fuel, and sometimes worse, they can also be made into drones. The Army has a robo-blimp that was spotted over the Jersey Shore, presumably trying to grab a peep of JWoww, but the autonomous drone blimp can fly over battlefields, constantly watching, always watching. They're also looking for drones to watch highways and U.S. borders, so keep a lookout. Now that they're back in fashion, would you rather ride in a Zeppelin or an airplane from New York to London? Personally, I relish the casual atmosphere as part of the experience, but what do you think? Check out more cool stories and be sure to subscribe to get all of our videos. See you later.